This is definitely going to cause problems, man, because that's going to be pulling that rain straight up. So the rain's going to be being pulled straight up as the storm slowly moves east. So you get your train of rain, and then you get the storm punch. It's going to be an event. California, all the arrows are headed your way. That's ain't doom, unless you ain't prepared. Hello. After some extreme and dangerously cold conditions across the northeast of the United States, the West is about to take a wallop. There's going to be a lot of storminess on the West Coast. Our jet stream is getting all split up, looking like a whale tail. Get ready for high winds to set sail in your area, yeah, if you're on the West Coast. It's going to be a lot of rain and very, very strong winds. My unofficial action adventure buddy cop partner, the king of weather Twitter, cranky weather guy, agrees. This is a big problem. California is going to get hit very hard with this deeply tropically linked intense storm system. And even the National Weather Service Bay Area Blue Check agrees big storm is coming Friday night. Time to batten down the hatches. You've got about 24 hours left to prepare. 16 hours. Are you storm ready? Flashlights, phone charged, generator ready, chainsaw sharpened, not going out, drinking. When the rain is pouring and the rocks be falling off the mountains onto the highway, the one. But as you can see here on Sunday, California is wet from the rooter to the tutor. Hashtag batting down the hatches. And then look at the expansion of this as we go into next week. Big storm is here. Big storm is here. I don't know what's going on. Active volcanoes. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents, and here we go. Hit the button, baby. You can see in closer detail, we've got some fairly significant snow across a large sway of the British Columbia into parts of Alberta as well. And we've got some strong winds down the West Coast. Pay attention to the winds around San Francisco, 40 to 50 mile per hour gust, some torrential rain initially. We're packing on the rain and we're packing on the snowfall in the higher elevation across the Sierra. The snow and rain forecast, as you can see, is very intense. Problems with landslides, which have been leading to road closures, Tons of problems around Ventura County, Malibu area. We'll take you forward past Friday night into Saturday. You still got very gusty winds. San Francisco down to Fresno. Winds increasing around Las Vegas, of course, the city that never sleeps. So those winds are still going to be carrying on as we go from Saturday night into early Sunday morning. But as it works its way eastwards across the Sierra Nevada, the Cascades, the Rockies, through the weekend, we could well see some significant snowfall here. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a geomagnetic storm in progress. You know what that means. Take the weird weather watch up a notch. Because when the sun acts weird, earth weather acts weird, and then people act weird. In this 2019 weird winter game of fire and ice, and words cannot describe what we are seeing. He reports, he being a Chad. How crazy are things? We're talking polar vortex pushed arctic air, sun dog, punch hole cloud. Strange. 2019 is phenomenal. The coronal holes just keep getting bigger. So we gotta keep getting better. The Noctilucent Clouds, or NLCs, if you please, keep on kicking. And I predicted possible West Coast earthquake activity up until the point this whole storm passes, which would be Tuesday. Earlier, two hours ago, we had a 5.3 earthquake south of California in Mexico, where they have three volcanoes that have been very active over the last year. I don't know if you knew that. You do now. Two in Mexico, one in Guatemala. Ladies and gentlemen, as the polar vortex Arctic freeze ends, we get a giant storm system that is going to be pushing through the West Coast and causing some problems. And right now, it looks like California is set to catch the worst of it. So there is rain right now in Los Angeles and Southern California. And then the big, nasty-looking Cali Cane moves in Friday to Saturday. And it's going to push in some heavy rains, some heavier snows up in the Sierras, and then some high winds and higher wind gusts, which will potentially cause mudslides, flooding, and falling rocks, and that the wetness won't end until about Tuesday. Even though this is more than 10 days out, look at that giant storm system that is once again moving towards California, Mexico, New Mexico, Nevada. That'll cause trouble, but we're going to take these one storm at a time. But the rain that is in California right now is only the beginning. Very intense, severe thunderstorms, heavy flooding rains, heavy snowfall, high winds. As you can plainly see, our funkily shaped Nibiru Planet X means sea level pressure shape is back with its little two moons. At some point, we can almost determine the orbit, you'd think, at least of the moon. And this whole convergence line has me jaw dropping. And I just want to say, I would definitely watch out for 
possibility of earthquakes as the low pressure spot moves in. What I'm fascinated by is how much that low pressure is dragging the cold down into the Pacific. Because the Pacific waters are generally pretty warm. There's such an interesting relation between volcanoes and ice. That's a pretty nasty doily. It's not a doily. A doily is the thing you put on a couch if you're in the 40s. And then we see the expansion of all that active weather further east, most likely breaking off into a couple of pieces, resulting in some big-time snow across the Rockies, the Northern Plains, and beyond. Two pieces approaching the west that will hammer California. We have two pieces of energy in the south, which leads to some southern rains and unique offshore development. Unique offshore development. And we've got some torrential rain through the Gulf of Mexico, just uh, starting to work its way up towards our Gulf states and bringing some impacts to parts of Florida. Watch how the mixed precipitation moves in over a 48-hour period and damn near covers 33% of the United States. The end frame. It's like 50% of the USA covered in some type of precipitation on Sunday. Stormy. Yes, indeed. We're watching the rain bands. As you can see, there's just a lot of WTF going on in the Pacific. The storm in two weeks has potential to be really bad because it draws from the equatorial electro jet line. Water bulge. And there's a lot of water there. Let me tell you. And then, hey, guess what, folks? We may just have to use the word torch. And then the next round of changes, which I'm getting to slowly but surely. Be sure and read Cranky Weather Guy's blog, stormhamster.com. I'll leave his daily link in my information box as he breaks down short-term, medium-range, and long-term. And then there's a whole jet-weirding team. Hashtag, yep, volcano winter. That looks like a volcano winter to me, bro. Earth is a McDLT. The hot side's hot, the cool side's cool, and they move around like a lava lamp. I am fascinated by this because look how hot the heat is here. 84 degrees. It's only a couple hundred miles away from freezing temperatures. In this game of fire and ice, and just total madness, where nobody wants to get along. Yep, things they are changing. So I'll keep watching out for you guys, because it's what I do, because this is my full-time job. And I exist solely off your contributions and donations to my channel through my PayPal link. And it is the last day of January, the first month of 2019. Congratulations, we made it. And so I got rent in three days, and you guys have kept me doing it for three years, and I appreciate that. And although... This has brought me a whole lot of trouble, a whole lot of aggro, a whole lot of hackers, a whole lot of haters, and a whole lot of problems. I do it because I love you. And when I was growing up, I wanted to be a superhero. So I feel like a real-life superhero. I do my best not to get caught up in the he-said-she-said said political bullshit distraction or the divide and conquer. And I do what I can to bring us together. Although that hasn't been working out that much. I'm ex <laughs> I'll keep plugging at it, though, you know? If you want to keep me around, I would definitely appreciate it. Everybody stay cool, if you can. And look at this. Sunday and Monday, high temperatures 40 to 60 degrees higher than the uh, temperatures during the Arctic outbreak. So that dramatic. Very intense, severe thunderstorms, heavy flooding rains, heavy snowfall, high winds. So everybody be ready. It's fascinating. California, you got a whole lot of water headed your way. in this wave after wave after wave, weird winter pattern. So buckle up and put your game faces on. This ain't no joke, because I think comedy is illegal in 2019. I'm trying to return to normal. So here we go again. If it's happening in a galaxy, then toys all over here. Hurricane, solar flares, planet X. How humanity's gonna destroy itself at each other's necks. Yeah, I don't know if you know this. No, I don't know if you know this. I don't know if you know this, Thor News is for winners, and that's why you're here, to so stick around. Hit the button, baby.